August 17th, 2023. At the beginning of this meeting, we will, as we usually do, announce that this meeting is being recorded by Area 58 and can be viewed on YouTube. And I believe Community Access Television, which is Channel 15. I may be incorrect in that. But. This meeting is located at the Selectman's Meeting Room in the town of Halifax at 499 Plymouth Street. And we will start with um, Well, I suppose I should read this too. The listings of matters are those reasonably anticipated by the chair, which may be discussed at the meeting. Not all items listed may be in fact discussed, and other items not listed may be brought up for discussion to the extent permitted by law. Uh, we should talk about the agenda. Is everyone okay with the agenda as it is presented? Um, give me two seconds. I'd like to talk about the Slackman's meeting um, for Tuesday night. Uh, what's the date? Uh, sorry. 22nd. That's what I thought. 22nd. Well, you beat me to it because I was going to bring it up too. So if I could add that to the agenda, that would be great. That's fine. Anyone else? Hearing no other. It would just be in the discussion, really. Yeah. We have an appointment at 7 o'clock, <clears throat> the continuance of a hearing for 359 Plymouth Street, site plan review, contractor storage. That is going to be continued until September, what was that date, Daniel? 7th. 7th. Apparently they uh, did not have a quorum at the uh, Conservation Commission, so they could not take care of what they needed to take care of, so we will wait on them. Okay. And we have them continue to the end of September, beginning of October, correct? correct? correct. Just making sure. Next item was is Jordis Rain, Rider's Way, the Asbill sign-off and release of bond to Mr. Fabrowski. We couldn't do it last time because there was some conflict in the language uh, on the agenda article. So um, I believe we're all set. Um, I don't have any reason to think we're not all set. So we will entertain a motion to sign off on the site plan and to release Mr. Fabrowski's bond. What's his plan? How much? Was it 10? 10,000. Was it 10? Um, or 11, maybe? Do we have that information in the file? Do you want to make a motion on the uh, agenda and then we'll bring it up fully at the right time? Or? Well, this, five. well, we're going to bring it up right now and vote it, so whatever, whatever oh, the bond I, I is. Oh, I thought we were doing the agenda right now. No, we went past that oh. because it wasn't listed anyway. No. I didn't know if we, I don't remember making a motion to approve the agenda with the addition. That's why I was thinking oh. that. That's why I was thinking no, that. Okay. Well, we can do that. Yeah. If you want to make a motion, we'll take your motion. we make a motion to approve the tonight's agenda with the addition of the selectmen's meeting on um, August 22nd, 2023. We could use a second. I'll second. Move and second it to approve the agenda with additions. All those in favor? Aye. 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 That's my anxiousness to get us out in 15 minutes. That was my pledge oh. for tonight. <laughs> I'm not saying you'd move to the top of my favorite list, but tonight. if you do. <laughs> yeah. All right. We took care of that push. Uh, I'm still looking to see. I don't know why 10 green cells. Yeah, that, I, think it was, I think it was 10 or 11. I think it was right in that ballpark. Other than the sake of curiosity, would it matter how much? No, I know. not really. Not. So, no. just whatever's left. No. Yeah. I didn't know if it was handy. Maybe we should specify right. then, right? We're just going to approve the site plan and release the. the uh, the bond. Um, we should probably authorize someone to sign for the board. Um, I'm in and out of the building all the time, unless anybody has any. We should Works probably amend the meeting, amend the motion to authorize the chair. Okay. So um, I'll make a motion to, or do we already? We don't have one yet. Uh, I'll make a motion to approve the uh, Jordis Rain Riders Way um, as built and sign off to release the bond. Um, and have the chair authorized authorized to sign for off for the board. Okay, we did have uh, the last meeting was we did get the letter from uh, Steve Haywood uh, saying that it was all 
in compliance as well as uh, the review board said the same thing. They, the items that were requested to act upon have been done and completed. So. Should I read it into record just to be like, since we're recorded tonight? It's just a matter of I don't, discussion. I don't, I don't think it's necessary. Okay. Mine's fine. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right, bills. We have some bills that we can pay. I saw the folder here someplace. I'll make a motion to um, I think there's only one bill, right? pay the W.B. Mason bill. I thought there was a couple on the second page. That's only one on the agenda. That's why. Yeah, um, we added them after the fact. Oh, okay. There's one on the first page and there's right. some. Yeah, a couple of them. Okay. But they were all W.E. Mason. So we'll have, um, we're, uh, I'll make a motion to pay um, W.E. Mason bills in invoice number 24025764 and the amount of $100.84. One number 24029175 and the amount of $3191. One in the amount on um, the invoice number two four zero three two one three one one in the amount of fifteen dollars and fourteen cents invoice number two four zero three five three two eight four in the amount of one hundred and seventy four dollars and sixty two cents um, in the total amount of three hundred and twenty two dollars and fifty one cents to be paid. We have a motion. We have a second to pay W B Mason's invoices. At I'll that. second it. Yeah. Group effort. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Has everyone had an opportunity to review the meeting minutes for June 15th, 2023? I believe we were all there. I, I, I'm not sure if that's the yeah, one. Yeah, I think there were two that I missed. I was here for July 6th. I was on at 15. You were at 15. Okay. So there's Simon. You were the one that was in Greece. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, sorry. So does, has everyone had a chance to review that? So those? Or that particular one? These haven't changed since the last changes, right? No, the June 15 ones, you guys approved them, it just, they just didn't get signed. And then the other um, two were outside. Oh, June 15th. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, no. Yes, it was the last one in July, first one in August. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of June 15, 2023, as written. Second. Moved and seconded to approve the minutes of June 15th. All those in favor? I thought those were approved already. I they just need to be signed. Oh, so sign. just approve, just to vote to sign. Yeah. Okay. Aye. 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 All right. All right. So we double duty it anyway. I'm abstaining because I was not here. Um. July 6, 2024. And Brendan, everybody was here. I'll make it, I didn't. July 6th, yeah. July 6th, I was here. Yeah. It was the last one of July and the first one of August, I wasn't. Yes. Right. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes of July 6, 2023, as presented. Second. Move and second to approve the minutes of July 6, 2023. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. August 3rd, 2023, meeting minutes. It's your turn. It's your turn. What? I haven't read <laughs> Make the motion. I'll make a motion to approve the I haven't read Plain and Boyd meeting minutes for August 3rd, 2023. Yeah, I do mind. I think it's pretty. That's July 6th. You're really screwing up his speed record here. No, I'm sorry. Try it. It's terrible. Yeah, that was just the, um, the revolving fund that we did that from Tim for a few last time, right?
Fine, I'll make a motion to approve the uh, meeting minutes for August. Oh, I, th I think there is a motion on the floor. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'll second right. it if you'd like. It's August 3rd. August 3rd. Move and second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, when we're signing that, <clears throat> move on to mail and correspondence. I wasn't there. Oh, yeah. Aye. Uh, records retention schedule, please review. The town administrator has requested that we discard any files that no longer need to be kept per the state's record retention schedule. Planning office will be moving, and by the way, planning office will be moving to the first floor. And we need to make room for new and existing files. I know Daniel's on it. Uh, her and Peggy's, I think, helping out too. And they're kind of taking a look at all the files that we can legally discard to make room because we're choking. Mm. What kind of files would that mean? Any and all that meet their attention schedule. So most of the stuff we have to hold is a year um, after it's been recorded with the registry. Um, so anything that can go, will go. But what about like for records of making sure that we have site plans so that like when things come up in the future, as far as um, questions on whether different properties have site plans, if we don't have those files, then what do we do then? Well, they also like, have to be recorded. Recorded with the registrar, right? So they should be available. And, and the worst case scenario is we get them from the, the PDF file and we can print it here in the building. I don't think it's a good idea. Are they, the site At plans, all. are they uh, being stored downstairs in the vault? Um, not, uh, not the site plans, I don't think. Those are upstairs right now. You mean the ones that are already closed? Yes, all the, yes. Yeah. in the past, they're yeah. down there. I, I bet there's plans scattered all over the yeah. place yeah. with no particular... I can't imagine, I, I know where you're going with this. I can't imagine that they're going to permanently eliminate anything that's been put through. I think it's just saying, putting it in one place instead of having it in three different places where nobody can find it. So you're not throwing them away, you're just well, putting... We will be destroying the ones that can't. So there's an, uh, a form that you have to fill out um, Cody sent us a link to the form, so you have to list everything that you want to get rid of, right. get the permission from the state to destroy, and then once you get that permission, you can destroy it. And there will be no record of it whatsoever? That's um, what I'm saying. Yeah, that, that can be right. Well, I think when you register with the, I think when you file with the registrar, they're going to have the file. Now it's just not having it in multiple places. So I don't like it because there's decision letters that have certain parameters and things that are written. The decision them. letters, not to interrupt you, but they definitely get recorded. I don't care. I I honestly think that from all right. So from my standpoint. There's a lot of people right now who don't like, and this is an example of things in the world, and this is what we're going to come up against in the future, right? Is, for instance, if you, and this is a totally different subject, but the same type of thing, that if you are going to get audited and you don't get your bills sent to your house and have everything in a file, then you're going to have to now go figure out where all that stuff is have it printed, see if it, people are still available, and do all kinds of work in order to do something. And so, hold on, let me finish. So the, the pr problem is, is that now we're going to be relying upon having to go and go to Registry of Deeds, and I do not like it because there have been lawsuits. There's subdivisions that we need to look back at. This is documentation that we need in our grasp in our basement and I do not agree with destroying it. We've needed it and we will need it and we have to ha be able to have the proof. For instance, a few six, seven months ago, we were able to go come across a site plan that hadn't been fully done because we had the documents. I do not agree with destroying our documents. Absolutely not, and I don't know how the state can decide how Halifax, Massachusetts should and should not do our things because, personally, I think they have their own things that they need to worry about that are not all right. This is not the way to go. We need our documents. It is, it is I am absolutely stunningly against this. Absolutely stunningly if, against this. I'm not for or against it, just playing devil's advocate a little bit. Um, if I were to get audited and they were to go back seven years, I would go to my accountant, which all my stuff is filed with, and say, your problem, which to me in this scenario would be the registrar's office, if that makes sense. So it's not that you have it, don't have it somewhere. It's somewhere. It just doesn't need to be in three different places. 
but I understand what you're saying. Not to interrupt, but yep. in, in a lot of instances, we have seven or eight copies of the same thing. Well, then so a lot of those it. things are, in fact, going to be included in this kind of thing. And I think some of it is uh, letters, request letters, letters that accompany you know, things that are really right. of no value uh, except you know, to I highly space. disagree, and I believe that there is a major conflict of interest in the fact that we're deciding here right now, major conflict. Here's a letter accompanying a submittal, and that's all it says. I mean, I don't see that. I mean, there are literally well, those types of documents. We need our documents in hand at the, at, in our planning board office where we can work on them. This is absolutely stunningly wrong. Well, how about we do this? We let the team go through, identify the documents, and we take a look at it. I would like to be a part of it. The other thing, too, is I think uh, I along think the lines of the, uh, the email that w was sent out, bottom line, even those documents that you're speaking of are now kept in cardboard boxes down in the, uh, in the basement, oh, which would mean uh, not only a fire hazard, but they're all going to get damaged to the point of destroyed if there is any kind of flood, water, uh, fire system, suppression system goes off or whatever, and it's a huge fire hazard down there. Can I ask a question? Are they already automatically filed with the registrar's office? Not everything in those files are. And, and Just the not everything in those files are. You know that it shows what we've received. <coughs> All of that information is extremely important. Mm -hmm. It's extremely important. And I will disagree with the fact that all of the things can be done because, for instance, I myself, because I still get my documents, my bills sent to my house, have been able to prove that my mortgage company has escrowed me incorrectly. I myself have been able to go to National Grid and tell them when I have things wrong because I have my documents. Do you know why so many people have problems? Because they don't have their documents. We're going wrong the long way. And one more addition. In Hawaii, one of the things that occurred was the fact that their entire system went down, including their 911 system. All internet, everything, gone. I do not agree with this. I think it's the wrong step forward. Any, and anything? I think there's a major conflict, and I believe that town council should be involved in this. There's a major conflict with some people on this board being able to make decisions on destroying documents. I just offered up, we review it. Yeah. The documents of consequence are recorded. Now there's a lot. More there's a lot of revised plans, original plans, that yeah, kind of it's thing. Very important. Well, I, well, I beg to disagree Mom. personally, but I just don't see how there isn't a, maybe even a happy medium of how it can all be uploaded digitally, even kept in the planning board's department. I just I think that the value to not living in the 70s where everything is in cardboard boxes and in safes and all that stuff for these big roll-out things from 1993 I think is a little obnoxious but at the same time to your point not to having any know. record of it is also very dangerous it's a, but it's you know Watergate <laughs> you know what I mean you're destroying yeah, public document absolutely but hold on but there's I just want you to understand where I'm coming from here I'm agreeing with you to a point. The other side is living in the 70s downstairs in the vault isn't the answer either. So how do we how do we find a happy medium? Is there a definite medium. criteria that the state provides that that says okay you can get rid of these but you can't get rid of these? It or? should be on all on there. It says what you can and can't get rid of or how long. Um, and like I said, there is a form that needs to be filled out before you can even destroy. And it. they review the form mm -hmm. as well as. That's a hard one. Some, somebody that's never probably even been to Halifax. Is well, that's what I mean. Someone shit. else here could yeah, review yeah. the form also and say, no, we can't get rid of that. I, I think this was initiated. I don't think it was initiated by the state. I believe it was initiated by Cody. By Cody by the time. Yeah, and I don't, I don't agree with because that. Because of the, because he's, not even, he's not even somebody who lives in the town. Of I don't think that's fair at all. He is the town administrator. So. He's coming up with a policy. He's throwing it out at us. We're discussing it. You're getting heated about this. I don't because think it's dangerous. Well, you, you, you have a point of view. I think that all the documents that are of any consequence have been recorded. I think that there's, I disagree with that, and I think that we've found things in our own documents, and we can't, it's very important for us to go and get our public records in our town hall where they belong, 
I think the problem here is, and we, we've all been there, where we've looked for things in files and they weren't there, and then we've, even site plans go missing, right? right? So I think part of it is a little bit of PTSD from that, yeah. right? No, and I mean that in a good way. Like, I, I don't mean it in a good way. I mean it in a, from an experience, right? Mm -hmm. But if there's, a, if there's a policy that's trying to be put in place to be able to productively and efficiently move forward into the next... Century. Well, I think too in the same book, uh, the email that was sent out, you know, said that he had been down in the basement for the first time. He'd come take a look at this and sure. said, "We got to do something. This is cardboard right. boxes rid of the and clutter. papers and papers mm -hmm. and, and, I had and, the, and then the public safety issue for the fire safety." Yeah. Does this need to be a decision that we make right now, or is this something that can be tabled and discussed further? I mean, is it a give you a chance to look over the list of what it is and come up with some kind of, it, there has to be a happy medium. We have to have copies of it. We can go through the files and find doubles, which I know are in the files, but we can't just toss files that we need them in our hands. I guess the answer to that is who determines what we need and who determines what right. we don't. I don't need. know, but not everything I mean, the state's I'm, passing down, for the instance. The state's not passing down anything. Thank the you. town administrator asked us to clean our files. They asked everybody in the building to clean out unnecessary and unwarranted files so as to make some room. And you've been downstairs, I assume. That is a horror show down there. I don't think you could it's find anything nice. if you wanted to. And if you did, it was, I'll guarantee you it's mold ridden. I think what we're trying to avoid is that um, something conveniently goes missing for certain projects yes. or certain things that go on a list. And not, I, I get it. That's that's um, not accusing, but it's it's. Um, there are, with this. It's there implying are. that you know nefarious action would be taken. So I think there's got to be a way to bring it up to 2023, where a digital copy can, if stuff gets scanned in, it just I can only imagine what the basement looks like, and I certainly don't want a field trip. But if our computers so, crash, then they're gone. So <laughs> maybe going through them and making sure that the files are not doubled, not but not having them is very dangerous, and it will become dangerous because everybody thinks that, oh yeah, we're just going to do all these things. We don't have enough bandwidth. Do you know like all of these things keep and happening? External hard drives are also, that's what I mean, major corporations are, are, you know, Microsoft goes down, they have backups. Anything going external forward hard should be electronically right. submitted as well as on paper. I mean, if you want to go back to 1960 and 1970 and try to find some of those files, those are where I'd be concentrating. Stuff that's just old and has been recorded that you're not going to have any need to go back to. And if you did, you can find it. It's, it, it's they have recoverable. to be a cross-check, double-check, and I think that every place in this town should have at least one file with the major documents in it in case of an emergency. I do not think well, that we should. For every property in town? Yeah. Um, that's what it would be. For, it, for us, yeah, it's site plans did, and things like that. Yes, I 100% think that. And Again, I, site plans are recorded. I don't care. I think we should have one on hand because we are the town and we, we need our public records on hand. Uh, Getting yeah. rid of public records on any form is not a good idea. Period. It's not going to be good for the future. Just like all of these changes and all of these like coming on to like electronic and all this stuff, it is not 100% good. I get that there yeah, are some yeah, things, but there has to be a backup. Um, I rely on my accountant as well, but I also have my own stuff because what if their place burns down? I also I will always have my stuff in hand. I tell the IRS stuff for the now. seven. But no problem. That's what I write the check for. There's reasons for it. Well, and, and I the just IRS has a seven-year go back. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. There's a seven-year look back. So, but here's the other thing. Obviously, anything that's open currently is not going to be on the list. Correct. And she was mentioning when, as as a sidebar, that she's they're looking at like stuff from 1993, right? And so there's got to be a way to be able to say. There's a 10-year look back for all stuff, current, physical, anything prior to 2004 or whatever it is, 2000, well, technically 2014, right, would have be then backed up digitally, but the actual paper physical stuff. But here's the problem. It's to be recycled. Here's the problem. We have paper roads and we have different things that are all set up and things like that that need to have 
documentation there on why and what needs to occur on each of these things. There are there are reasons why we need more than just certain plans because it doesn't go past things or we need things to be developed. Like for instance, Riders Way, what was that approved in but it was still an open case. But also we so have Delia's sure. Way, that's 05. So Delia's Way but is that's 05. that's still an open case. It wouldn't be considered to be destroyed or recycled. It's and an anything that's ever had a lawsuit, and anything that has, and, 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 and like, there's, there's tons of things For that instance, should not be eligible. Well, Summit Glen Acres, if anybody even knows where that is, Indian Path Road, <laughs> that whole development up there. I said you might know. 1975. Everything's recorded. Do we need those documents today? At least a copy of the final site plans and things like that. I bet we have more than that. I bet we have much more than that. Yeah, but, but it's all approved. It's done. It's a, right, exactly. And it's recorded. And it's been in existence. Why, why would you have a problem? Why would it be a problem? Because people make modifications of site plans, and we should have them on hand so we know what's going on without having to go and buy it at the we registry. We don't have to buy it. We can ha like they that. can send it to us electronically, and we have the capacity to print it. I still think that it's I, under good. I understand that. I, I just think you're taking it to the extreme. Because there has to be. Again, I think I think it's not an extreme. extreme. It's actually no. I actually would wonder why this current administration would be pushing this down. Well, it's because they're trying to hide things from me, Amy. I'm sure that's what it is. So I think there are... Maybe. So I think there We have are, one selectman that doesn't live in town. We have one selectman that's a yes man. And we have one that doesn't listen to everybody doesn't who call people back. Oh, and we're, listen, we're way off track. No, we're not. We're so yes, we're track. Track. I'm so sure that track. people would, will be glad right, we're, we're gonna, So I would say that there are valid points to both sides. And making sure that the integrity of specific the town in this department is of the utmost importance for our community, right, and our residents. I'd have a hard time believing that anybody would, this day and age, with the amount of access that people have, try to pull a fast one without. Okay. Right now, I get it. I'm not living in La La Land either. I get that people do try to do things, but. I'd have a hard time believing it. If it was just to recycle the stuff and get rid of it and not keep any copy of it, that's that's out of line. But to say we're going to have a, a digital copy of this, I mean, it's just overkill. It's where to have a digital copy and a paper copy and have it on hand, that's just not how I it highly works. disagree like, because I of experience. I just, I think saying that you can't do business across the country via Zoom because old school business was look somebody in the eye, sit across the table, and shake their hand. Well, that's not how the. That's not how business is done anymore. So it's we've got to evolve, but also make sure that we maintain the integrity of of the process. So that's what I think we need to discuss. Not I think we need to try to comply with the request. Look at what we compiled that we think is superfluous. I would like to see the next meeting and then we take not a look make at any decision or have any I also action there on done on We're not going to destroy it tomorrow, Amy. I think there may also be a way of our due process that before anything gets recycled, something about the word destroyed kind of doesn't make it settle well, right? But and anything is to get recycled, so important, right? So if there is old, closed out, files that can be uploaded digitally and then moved to the recycling bin, I think that there's got to be due process to where we can, as the board, have the ability to sign off on the final yes or no. So therefore, you get to look at it and go, no, we need that. And I think we do it in stages. We're not going to get a lump sum of 200 pages of things that right. we need to look at. As the process evolves, we'll start looking at what things that we think may be unnecessary to continue to have. And we could also require, not require, but requests pass that everything gets backed up not only to our system, but also to an external hard drive that can go in the safe. Because well, an external hard drive, that goes in the safe is this big. Whatever's down there now, taking your word, is covers the whole base plan. Right? So to your point, if the system crashes, that's that external hard drive for that. Now if that external hard drive goes missing, well now the FBI is getting involved. Hopefully. I have I have utmost faith in you. 
<laughs> to call somebody, and I don't mean that way, you know, sarcastically. It's if if you if the system goes down or if something goes missing that was supposed to be recorded, there will be a digital footprint all the way back to that external hard drive that should be sitting in the safe. 100%. Nowadays, especially if you call the state or call even go higher than that and say we've got fraud going on, they're going to come in and be able to track that all the way back to you, you know who's got a Facebook picture. Are you so sure? I have um, a lot of confidence. The Attorney General, plenty of times. Mm. I understand. I think there's got to be a blend here. Your point is not lost by any means. I 100% agree with the, the premise I of your like point. I would like to make sure that nothing happens to our files in the next um, while. I believe that some investigation needs to be on on this, and I don't want anything to happen to our files until then. You can investigate what? The motives of the town administrator? Is that what you're suggesting? No. But that's funny that you say that. I just want to look into this further. Please do. And you have the right to do any investigating you want. But I think as a board, I would like to suggest we let the process I move do. on and let's What's look to see what the documents are. What's the can we? Can we? No, there's no rush. Good. But we're going to do it a piece at a time. Can, so we can, wait. Uh, can we? I, I'm going to look for a motion to end this and or come up with a solution because this argument is not going to go anywhere. Well, can we, we can wait because it's a, a last minute thing put mm -hmm. on our agenda and it's a big item and I think that we can wait until our next meeting. I think we should table this to our next meeting. Can we have a little bit of at least one more meeting to have a conversation about the process sure. or some suggestions? Sure. Because I, I think let's, that let's, the answer is is to request that not only it's filed but it's backed up on an external hard drive. I, I, to me, that for how so business so is done, I, how, I, I, put it this way, I, I, my I own that. personal business, which I hate bringing into things, but we have to, we are required by the SEC and FINRA to have stuff backed up to an external hard drive because if my system goes down, we have hundreds of millions of dollars in assets under management. We can't, mm -hmm. we can't have that go, but I also can't keep a paper file of every single client on every single correspondence. So as long as compliance comes in and says this is acceptable because it has been backed up. So to your point, let's let's see what the criteria actually are. Mm -hmm. Let's see what his criteria are. Mm -hmm. And let's see what we come up with. Mm -hmm. and, and for instance, I mean the easy ones are you know multiple files of exactly the same thing. Correct duplicates. Yeah. I, and I'm talking some of these plants there's five, six, seven copies of I'm not saying copies. that we shouldn't get rid of duplicates. Well that is definitely not what I'm saying, but I think that there should be if there is a site plan that is reported, we should have a we should have a document here on it. If the file has the same document in it, which I know they do, yes, but I also would like to say that anybody who's involved should not have any names on any lawsuits. I think that, okay, so I think that the, I, all right, so before we start. Oh, okay, well, at least it's coming to the surface now, Amy. Okay. We, we know where you're coming from. So what okay. I think. Yeah. Okay, that's good. For whatever it's There's a lot of things. Yeah, mm, that's what you think. I'm trying to find, oh, I'm trying to find solutions here, so let's do that. So. Um, is know. there a way to request, I don't know if it needs to be in motion, probably not, but is there a way to request that we hear from the town administrator about what the steps in the process? That to get some direction. Right? To get some direction. So in other words, we're thinking about going, <clears throat> we're thinking about having a 15 year look back. Um, this, in other words, laying out the steps in which he would like to see this purging or recycling of old stuff. Because if we can have a list of what in his brain he sees to become more efficient, we can say great and also we would like to add having an extra hard drive. But as of right now, just having it be, there's too much downstairs, let's get rid of it, is not the answer. But something has to be done. It was never meant to throw everything out. It no, was correct. meant to call through. But I also think by requesting the actual process. I think that that's valid. It is. Yeah. I think that's it allows us to put it into record to right. for us to discuss. I think exactly. we have a specific criteria that has to be met. I think we're setting a precedent. That's, that's what we're doing. I don't think that this was made to be a, a voting matter per mm -hmm. se. It was he wanted the information passed along so that you guys were in the loop and aware. Um, but the problem with that is we're an elected board and he does not control our files. We He's do. not trying to control them. He's going to so that he, it's not, he cannot just start this because he cannot do that to our files goes my 15 without, our, um, without our, without our rights. 
So if that doesn't happen. What I would request yes. is I think what we're going to be able to do to, to move to a solution is an outline of what, in his mind, <coughs> as a collective team, yes. what you guys see to be the most efficient process to get to the end of this. And then we'll be able to have a baseline out, a base outline <coughs> that we can discuss in depth, and I mean that respectfully, yeah. and add <clears throat> either add or subtract from that, mm -hmm. and then come to a collective decision. Mm -hmm. I think Is that, that makes perfect sense. That's fair. Okay. So I'm. But one that well, we'll deal with that later. But it's, I was going to say one that <clears throat> we clearly are going to have two different views or multiple different views on what that is and there I think that this is where the team of elected officials are going to come into play and say we've got to give a little to get a little as well and I think that's a conversation that's going to come I up. think that's a perfect, perfect yeah. way, a perfect way to continue on and this doesn't require a motion you can just request that yeah. From, yeah. Well, that has to happen <coughs> okay are we all good for the next time being? Well, we have a meeting for the 22nd as well, which... Um, Can we go on to just get the correspondence? And uh, I thought you meant that. That was part of the correspondence. We also got notification from the town of Pembroke in regards to a site plan for 33 Riverside Drive, which, again, is not in Halifax, but the law requires it. that planning boards in each town be notified if there's a site plan request in any abutting town or... A, uh, an appeal to the Zoning Board of Appeals. Uh, also, something from the Town of Middleborough for 883 Plymouth Street, a special permit public hearing notice. Uh, and that's it. Moving yeah, on to yeah. other business, um, you brought it up, but I was going to bring it up anyway, but you would just indulge okay. me for a minute. The Board of Selectmen had asked us, the Planning Board, anyone on the Planning Board that would be interested in attending a meeting of a presentation from Thorndike in regards to the property on Mont Ponson Street. I don't remember the address across the street from Harmony Liquors. Waterman's on the water. Well, I know it was Waterman's, yeah, but I don't know if anybody else out in the crowd knows what Waterman's property was. Um, this is just for informational purposes and anything the board would like to throw, you know, to, to, to in fact comment on. This is not our meeting. This is the selectmen's meeting. I asked Danielle to post the meeting because I suspected there might be at least three people attending that meeting. So in order to stay within the four corners of the law, we wanted to have it posted. But we're not taking any actions. It's strictly informational. They were hoping that uh, we could attend and maybe offer something uh, or if they had a question. It's not an, actual, an actionable meeting. I don't see any kind of action being taken because it's not our meeting. Right. So but if at least three people from this board are there, then it right. has to be announced. It has to be. Exactly. <clears throat> I won't be able to make it as I replied in that email um, or, yes, in that correspondence. So um, I would be out of that. So if we don't have a quorum, that wouldn't even be an issue. Right? Well, I, I believe we might. Okay. Because I, yeah, like, I, I, I think Rick right. indicated he would go and burn, and I wanted to go myself, okay. and I don't know if he wants to go or not. I can unless there's a rain delay. Okay. Okay. Rain. But the, just to emphasize, we're not taking any action. Yep. And it's all going to be recorded in public record right, minutes and all that anyway, right? So, okay. Cool. I'll make cool. a motion to adjourn. Ah, music to my ears. <laughs> Move the second to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, everyone. Two and a half.